what's up everyone and welcome back to this youtube channel today we are going to do some web scraping we are going to scrape this site called quotes to scrape so this is a website and it has some quotes on it and what we want to do is we want to scrape all these quotes and its authors and i'll also show you how to create a pandas data frame uh, from the data that we are going to scrape and I'm also going to show you how to then export that data frame in a CSV file So it's going to be a fun tutorial uh, Lots of things to learn. So if you are up for it watch this video till the end So without wasting any more time, let's get right into this video What I always do is before trying to scrape any website I'll check if there is some pagination on it so right here you can see this website has this pagination on it so if i click on it you can see uh, the pagination is a simple one you just add the page number in the url and you get the results of that page so it's a really simple pagination that they have implemented here the next thing that i'll try to do is i'll just pick up any random number for example 100 and see if there are any pages for that number and unfortunately we don't have any uh, codes for that page so what I'll do instead is let's try a smaller number let's say 10 we got some codes there and if I say 11 we don't have any codes so it seems like that they only have 10 pages of codes on their website so now that we have that information let's go back to our starting page so this is our starting page next thing what i'll do is the thing that i want to scrape from the website i'll just move my cursor to that thing in that case it's a, a code so i'll right click there and click on inspect and in here i'll just inspect it so you as you can see this entire code is wrapped within this div so if we just scroll here so you can see we have a bunch of divs here and every div has a class of code and inside this div we have the actual text of the code and we have the author let me just do it right here so we have the actual text of the code and then we have the author and some tags so in this video i only want to take the code i only want to take the text of the code and i want to take the author of that code so this is my main goal in this video so now what i'll do is i'll go to my code editor which in my case is visual studio code and i'll import the required libraries first so what i'm going to use is i'm going to import requests i'm going to use beautiful soup and i am also going to use pandas but that will come in the later part of this video so for now these two are enough so i'll just run it just to make sure that i have both of these libraries installed on my computer and it ran successfully which means i have both the libraries so now i'll add another cell here and in here what i'll do is i'll just go to my firefox and grab the url so this is the url just Control c and i'll go back to visual studio code and i'll make a variable url and paste that in here so this is our base url that we'll use for scraping so after we have done that what i'll do is i'll make a request to this url so i'll say r equals to requests dot get so whenever you try to fetch anything from internet you use the get request and in the request module we have this get method that we can use to send a get request to any url so we will say request.get and pass in the url so this will make a get request to the url and if we print the r run the cell you can see it gives us a response of 200 in http response of 200 means that everything went well we got a success response from the url so after we have done that what we need to do is we need to sort of read the content of the web page so in this video we'll use the beautiful soup so i'll say soup equals to bs and i also need to come here and say as bs because i don't want to type this beautiful soup i can just use the shortcut bs so bs and in here i can say r dot content so if you want to see what is inside this r dot content you can simply just comment this thing out and say r dot content 
run the cell again so you can see this is everything that this content has but now we will try to parse everything with the beautiful soup so i'll say r.content content and i'll pass in html dot dot parser just like that now if i print out soup okay i'm getting this error because i need to run this cell again so now if i run it again you can see now i get a better looking uh, html response now what we need to do is if i go back to my browser we have read the content of the web page now we need to search all these html elements where we have our code and the author and the elements that has all these quotes is this div element with a class of quote but if we examine this web page as i already told you that everything is wrapped in this div and then we have the span which has the quote and then another span which has the author so we can search so we can first search all the divs with this class of quote so let's go to visual studio code and type in items equals to soup dot find underscore all so we are going to find all the divs that have a class so i'm going to pass in a dictionary and say class is equal to what was it quote so class equals to quote just like that and if we now print out the items let's see what we get now you can see we are getting only div with a class of quote and everything that is inside that div but uh, we have lots of these divs on the web page so it is fetching all those divs and now within every div we have our quote and the author so what we need to do now is we need to loop over all these items so this items has all those divs that contain our quotes so i'll say for item in items let me just clear this output first and now what we need to first search for is the code so i can say code equals to and again say item dot find this time i'm only saying find because we have only one element to find in our div element so we are trying to find this html element so in order to get the code which is in the span tag we need to search for a span tag and with a class of text so that's what i'm doing here so i'll say item.find pass in span as a first argument and the second argument will be the dictionary which will have a class of text just like that so in here if we print the code let's run it again okay seems like we can't print this out like this in the jupyter notebook so i'll just wrap it with the print statement and run it again so now you can see we are only getting the span html tags with the class of text and within those tags we have the quotes so we have successfully scraped the quotes as well but but we also need to clean them up so i can say dot text and now i will only get the text that is within that html tag without the html tag so if i show you if i print quote run it again you can see now i only get the quotes the text of the quotes actually not the html tags so this is really nice now we have the code let's try to scrape the author so i'll say author equals to item dot find now how do we get the author so we'll go back to mozilla and this is our code this is our author so author is in this span tag but it also has this small tag embedded within our span tag and also this small tag has a class so this one would be easier to search so what i can do is i can search for the small tag with a class name of author this will give me the author so let's go back again and say small and pass in a dictionary say class and pass in what was the name of the class i forgot it's author so let's pass in author just like that now if we only print author run the code again you can see now we get the you can see now we only get authors so we get the small tag with the class of author and we have the author name here now let's also clean this up as well so i'll say dot text run again you can see now we only get a list of authors so this looks really nice now we have the code and the author what i want to do next is i want to uh, put 
I want to keep them in a single place. So I'll create a list, let's say quotes, and let's keep it as an empty list. And in here, what I can do is I can define quote and put it as an empty dictionary. And I can then say quote, quote equals to this thing and quote author equals to this thing. And if we finally come here and print the quotes, run the code again. Okay, I forgot to append the quote so I can say quotes dot append quote just like that. Run the code again. You can see now we get a list and inside this list we have these uh, dictionaries which have the author and the quote text. So yeah, so for every quote we have the quote and the author within a dictionary and we have kept all the quotes within a list. So yeah, that's nice. So till now we have only scraped one single page, but as per our research in the beginning, this uh, website has 10 pages. So in order to scrape every quote from this website, we need to loop over 10 times and pass in the page parameter to our URL 10 times as well. So what, what I can do is I can come here and I can say for page number in range and say 1 comma 11 and then take all of this and put it right here i'll also take this quotes list and put it right before this for loop and let's remove this quotes now all i need to do is i need to append a page slash the page number here uh in order to do that i'll use f string so i'll say f string and then the curly braces and pass in the page number just like that so yeah so now what will happen is this for loop will run for 10 times from 1 to 11 and uh, in every iteration it will create this url and append this page number at the end of the url then send a request to this url and read the content and find all the elements that we need for example quote author then what will then at the end what it will do is it will append every quote and author to our quotes list and finally right here let's print out quotes now yeah just like that just let's give it a go let's see what happens yeah this time it's taking some time because it has to send 10 http requests to 10 different pages so it's taking some time now you can see we already got a warning that the output exceeds the size limit so yeah we can open it in a text editor so this is the output of what we just scraped so you can see we have a list we have a list as you can see here and within this list we have a bunch of dictionaries uh, within those dictionaries we have the code and the author so this goes on till it uh, till it reaches the tenth page of our website. So yeah, so we have successfully scraped every code from that website. Now it's time to convert this thing into a pandas data frame. So what I'll do is I'll come here and add another cell, and at the top I can say import pandas as pd run it again and down below here what i'll do is i'll say df equals to pd dot data frame and pass in our quotes list so now you know why i stored my quotes in this manner uh, a list and then a bunch of dictionaries within that list so that's because it uh, it would be easier for us to create a data frame if we store our data like this if we process our data like this so if i print the df now we should get a pandas data frame as you can see we get a pandas data frame now you can see we have this nice looking header here saying quote and we have the author then we have various quotes here and the authors so this is looking really nice now 
the only thing left to do is to save it in a csv file so i'll say df dot to underscore csv and pass in the file name for example quotes dot csv just to show you i don't have any file right here but as soon as i run this you can see i get this quotes dot csv file and if i open it up you can see all the quotes are stored in the csv file and along with its authors so you can see we have the author as well so yeah this is it uh so we have done pretty awesome things in this video we scraped every quote uh from our website we then created a nice looking data frame out of the we then created a nice looking data frame out of those quotes and we also stored them in a csv file so i hope you learned something new from this video and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one till then peace out